Arsenio Rafael Ralph uh, Jimenez. Uh, Ralph was born in Havana, Cuba on June 21st, 1953. and went to be with the Lord on December 5th, 28th, age 65. At the time of his passing, he was residing in Coral Springs, Florida. He immigrated from Cuba to the United States in 1960, became a naturalized citizen as soon as he could. He felt a great gratitude to and a deep love for his adopted country. Ralph was a very talented and creative, creative individual. During his professional life, he held many positions, including architectural draftsman, architectural designer, self-taught computer programmer, CAD trainer, software engineer, architectural project manager. Ralph was a member of St. Mary's Magdalene Episcopal Church and had, had held a position of on the vestry, was a lay reader and a member of the choir. He participated in Curslio, a missionary aid mission in Honduras and broke his leg as part of his relief effort after Hurricane Andrew. He had many <clears throat> varied interests. He loved creating authentic, historically accurate models and dioramas of World War II aircraft and tanks, doing the research as much as the building of the models and dioramas from scratch. He was a prize-winning miniature figure painter. He was a published author of several CAD-related technical articles. He was a published airbrush artist. Favorite activity was flying a World War II computer simulation game with his online friends. He also enjoyed researching the various planes and the 3D and 3D and then 3D modeling them. In extreme detail for use in the game. He found a whole virtual family with his flying buddies. His greatest passion was the study and preservation of history. This led to his connection with the World War II 325th Fighter Squad, the Chekatails. He was very proud and honored to be able to contribute to the three documentaries about the squadron and to be adopted as one of their own by the veterans and their families. The ultimate honor was being asked to design the monument that was erected in Lucina, Italy. In his younger years, he was an avid soccer player, played football, and let it interact. Before he had children of his own, he coached the lead soccer. Ralph was married to Carolyn Kimberly Cope, Menes in 1981, and was very pleased and proud to have celebrated 37 years of happy and successful marriage. His joy in this was only increased by the addition of his two cherished children, Adriana and, and Marie Gimenez, Evan Rafael Gimenez. His family, always the most important thing, and he placed him above everything else. He is survived by his beloved brother, uh, Miguel, uh, Engel, uh, Mike Gimenez, and Alejandro uh, Raul uh, Gimenez, and his cousins, David, Robert, and Carlos. I send my deepest condolences to the family. It is never easy losing a loved one, not for anyone. Thankfully, we have the God of all comfort, 1 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4, says that He comforts us in all our trials. Abby B. Mongoose, I can't begin to tell you how much I will miss you. In our online world, I enjoyed talking to you practically every day for two and a half years. I enjoyed talking shop, aircraft, flight, characteristics, models, history, and flying with you, even if it was just virtually. To his family, he loved you very much. I know you know this. I was always so impressed that he never, ever passed up family time. He loved his kids, talked about them all the time when they visited, and to Mrs. Jimenez, 
He always, always looked forward to dinner with you. Going out to dinner, meeting you at the table, you came first. I will carry his memory and the time I was able to know him for the rest of my life. I'm proud to call him my friend. Much love, David Tolwyn Shaw. I got to know Ralph as Mongoose over the past few years whilst flying with him and other online friends in the flight combat simulation called IL-2. Ralph was a great person in every way, but always pleasant, kind, and willing to help as well as extremely knowledgeable. I can still hear the very distinctive, meaningful way in which he used to say, EXACTLY! We will miss this unique and beautiful man. J. Wanderer My greatest achievement was capturing Ralph on film. During our friendship, Ralph was the first to jump up and be part of our wacko videos. I love this guy, and we sang together for years in the choir. He loved to cook Cuban food for all of his friends. We were there when the kids were born, and what a proud dad he was. But what always impressed me was the way he looked at Kim and the way she looked back. He was in love with his wife. A great friend to me, I always hoped that he would get up here to Tennessee and see us, but instead he'll have to look down from heaven and see how we're doing. Give Mimi and Ernie a kiss from us down here, and fly, my friend, fly. Ed Hawkins What an awesome man, husband, father, and brother you were. You will always be in the hearts of all of us blessed to know you. Fly high, Ralph, Kim, Adriana, and Evan. I know the pain is raw, but you will be in my prayers always. Judy Vago Blue skies and sea of you, my friend. From Deakin, Colorado, 352 VFG. Love you, Ralph. You will be missed greatly by all who knew you. Thanks for the memories. I'm very sorry for your loss. I hope your happy memories sustain you at this time. May the God of all comfort give you peace, and may his word from the Bible strengthen you at this time and always. Michelle B. Please accept my sincere condolences on the loss of your loved one, Estenio, Patricia Price. Thoughts of sympathy are extended to you and your family at this time of bereavement. Please know that at difficult times such as these, God promises that he will make you firm and he will make you strong. 1 Peter 5.10 Rose Buford
Ralph will meet in the sky. Radim McCann. the surly bonds of earth, and danced the skies on laughter-silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed, and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds, and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there I've chased the shouting wind along, and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air, up, up the long delirious burning blue. I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent lifting mind, I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. 